Hi everybody, this is Miss Amy here and we're going to do another fun project, art project together. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, we will be creating this fun blue dog, kind of uh, painting with oil pastels today, learning some oil pastel techniques. And this one is inspired actually by a famous artist named George Rodrigue. And he lived from 1944 until 2013. And he became famous in the 1990s for his blue dog with the big yellow eyes. And people loved the, his dogs. And some people thought looking at the dog, the dog was speaking to them and um, uh, saying something to them. And each person, it was different. And so, People really liked his blue dog, and that's what became, how he became very famous painter, was painting the blue dog. So we are going to create our own blue dog today with some oil pastels. So to create the project, um, you'll need a few supplies. First of all, a piece of white paper. Uh, drawing paper would be nice. It's a little thicker, and it'll handle the oil pastels really well. And then uh, some construction paper. Now I'm, you can use orange, which is a complementary color to blue. But if you don't have orange, you could easily use red or yellow also. Those would also look nice. They're a nice warm color to complement the cool blue. So you could e use either one of those colors if you would like. Also, you will need a pencil for drawing your blue dog some scissors, a glue stick, and some paper towel. And that is all you need for this project. All right, so let's get started with our blue dog. I love animals, so I love doing art projects that are all about animals. All right, so you wanna take your white paper and put, a, put it in front of you in portrait direction which is up and down. And we're gonna make some guidelines <clears throat> for our dog drawing first. So to make a guideline that will disappear, we're just going to gently fold our paper from top and line it up along the bottom of the paper. And we're not gonna press the paper all the way to the table. We're just gonna lightly rub it just a little bit. And we'll have a light crease in the middle, but that'll disappear as we um, color and uh, cut out our paper. You won't see that crease later. We're gonna turn our paper to landscape and we're gonna take the top, line it up with the bottom and do the same thing, just a gentle rub. So we just have a very light crease. And you can see mine, I just have a light crease across the center and one down the middle. And this will help us as we draw our dog to have some guidelines uh, to go by. So you wanna get your pencil out now and we're going to draw a circle and we're gonna draw it right, that guideline here that's at the top of our paper. We're gonna draw a circle. So that guideline goes right through the center of our circle. So, and we don't wanna go below that center line that we created. So we're gonna create it in the top half of our paper. But we don't wanna put the head all the way to the top because we need to have room for ears. So we wanna kinda of go in the middle here and we're just gonna draw a big circle. All right, then we're going to draw our um, Inside the face, we have a nose. And so we're gonna start um, with a curve line that goes right up like this. Just a curve line. That's gonna be like that white, that white uh, nose and um, forehead for the dog, for the blue dog. So now we wanna make a curve line that'll come down and around. And this is where we'll go, we can go to the, that center crease. We're gonna bring that nose line, curve line down to the center crease. So we're just gonna go out, curve it down to that center crease, come back around. Almost looks like a th big thermometer in a way. And then you can take your eraser and you can just erase that line that goes through the nose. All right, and then we're gonna draw 
two big eyes or circles on either side of that uh, curve line that went up and down. So just like that. And you can draw two pupils in the middle. Remember, he has big yellow eyes looking at you. Now, uh, down here toward the bottom of our uh, thermometer line, I should say, curved line down here. It looks like a thermometer to me. We're going to draw kind of a square with curved edges. And that's going to be the nose. And then he kind of has, you can make your, your, your blue dog happy, or you can make him more sad or just a normal face. But if you want to make him a happy face, you can give him a happy face. And then we're going to draw up here. We're not going to cross that center line there, that center crease, and we're going to draw a triangle on each side to represent his ear. So I'm going to take that center line and go over just a little bit from that center crease, and I'm just going to draw a kind of a curved triangle. So the side of my triangle is going to be curved, the top is going to be curved a little, and the bottom, the other side is going to be curved. So kind of a curved triangle. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, go over a little bit from the crease, a curve line towards the corner of my paper, curve the top just a little, and then a curve back down. So his ears aren't perfect triangles, they're more curved triangles. And then I'm gonna do that inside his ear also. Just two little curved lines following the shape of those bigger lines there. Okay, he's looking really cute. So, now I'm going to draw um, the lower half of his body and I'm going to start here on the side of his face. So I'm just going to put a little dot there and a little dot on the other side. That's where I'm going to start his, um, where his neck will come down into his front legs. And I'm going to make, it's going to be a curved line that I'm going to curve down. And so I'm going to actually make a little, um, little line right here where his paws are going to be and that's just going to help me know where to stop on either side. So just a tiny little mark there to help me. So I'm going to curve it towards his nose and then I'm going to go, I'm going below that center crease. So I'm drawing that line below that center crease and then I'm going to go out just a little bit. Oops. Try that again out just a little bit, kind of a shoulder, and then I'm going to come down for his front paw, and I'm going to go out towards the edge of the paper, and then curve that around for his front paw, and then I'm going to go curve back up, and then stop there. So it's kind of like one big curved line um, that curves in different directions. We're if you need to stop the video and do that again, that might be helpful to get that line. And you can practice it. If you have to erase it and redo it, you can do that too. Or maybe your blue dog looks just a little bit different than mine. That's okay too. The most important part of the blue dog is his face anyway. So if his body's a little different, no problem. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but the opposite direction. Curve down a little bit, curve out, and then down, out towards my edge of my paper, curve around where I made that little line, and curve back up. All right. So now we're gonna make his two back legs. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start uh, just under his shoulder here, and I'm just going to make a big curved line, almost like the letter C, and I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just make a backwards C, kind of stop. Not going to connect it with anything yet. All right, so then one more line, I'm going to make his foot. So I'm going to curve a little line out, and then put his line straight back across. And I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. Curve it out and then go straight back across. And then I'm going to do, do the inside of his legs right like that. All right, so there's my blue dog all drawn out on my paper. 
Now we need to color our blue dog and I need to grab my oil pastels. And you will need, I forgot to mention, <laughs> you need oil pastels to color this project today. Um, Cause we're gonna learn how to blend those and make our blue dog look really cool. So um, if you don't have oil pastels, you could always use color crayons. They won't blend quite the same, but you could still use crayons to make this um, project. All right, so got my oil pastels. So I'm gonna do his blue, his yellow eyes first actually. So I'm gonna grab my yellow here and I'm gonna just fill in his whole eye with my yellow. And I'm pushing down firmly, not hard enough to break it, but firm enough to get a nice uh, color and to fill in all my background. I don't want any of my back paper to show through. Okay, so um, we're gonna do his body in blue. So I'm actually gonna start with my dark. I have two shades of blue. I have a darker blue and a lighter blue. I'm actually gonna color with my darker blue first and put a layer down. So I'm gonna color his whole body except for the inside of his ears and except for the his nose area. The rest of him is gonna be this shade of blue, this darker blue. So I'm gonna just go ahead and as I'm coloring, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting a nice um, firm. I'm pushing down firm without um, hard enough. You don't wanna break your oil pastel. That means you're probably pushing too hard so just enough to get a nice color of blue there and to fill in so you don't have any white, not a lot of white paper. You might have just a tiny bit here or there, but that's gonna be taken care of when we layer our other color on top. It'll blend, make the oil pastels blend together. So go ahead and get your um, blue dog all colored in. And I would recommend turning your paper around to reach the other side that you can't reach very well, rather than resting your hand across your paper. That what happens is your oil pastels will smear really well when you do that. So turning your paper around actually will help you reach the side without having to rest your hand on your paper. You could also um, do this project with, if you had some watercolor papers, you could use watercolor to paint Blue Dog with. Or if you've used acrylic paints before, you could use acrylics. I've never done them with oil pastels before, so I thought that would be a fun way to create Blue Dog today. And um, it's okay to color all his uh, legs. Some things might blend in and it's hard to tell his back legs from his front legs. That's okay is we're gonna, we're gonna fix that later. We're gonna add some more coloring, a little bit of shading so that it'll make his back leg, legs look like they're behind his front legs. So don't worry about that part right now. You want to get all of your blue put on your dog here. Now I'm coloring um, without resting my hand on my paper, so I'm lifting my hand slightly. I just didn't want to smear my oil pastels everywhere. So that's a little tip too, is just to lift your hand instead of resting it on your paper, you just lift it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around and color the other leg.
All right, so once you've got your dark blue put in there, you wanna get your light blue out and you're gonna do the same thing. You're, you're gonna color over all of your dark blue with your light blue using the same firmness in your oil pastel. And what's gonna happen is you'll see the two colors are smooth, they become smoother as they blend together. The oil in the each color kind of mixes together and they blend together nicely. So you'll get a nice smooth look and it actually fills in some of the, um, the little white paper showing through will get filled in also. Um, another thing about doing it, um, if you color over the lines a little bit don't worry because we're actually going to cut him out and so some of those lines will be cut off and you'll have a nice neat blue dog when we get done so if you go over the lines a little bit don't worry about that and so that's when we're done we're going to cut them out and put them on our colored construction paper so we have a nice clean background because we want the we don't want the background to be our focus. We want the blue dog to be our focus. So that's why we're giving him all the details. It's not our background. He's looking nice and blue. Once you have them all colored in, it looks very nice now. You can take your white. We're going to use white. Now, you don't have to use white in here to color. I'm going to use a little bit of white just to color in there. And it, your pencil lines may smear just a little bit. Don't worry. We're going to cover those up. Just if you get too close to your blue, it will smear together a little bit but we can take care of that too. So I'm gonna, I should have done my white first before I did my blue and I forgot. That's okay. Kind of looks cool that way though. So you just wanna, you can just kind of scrape off the blue if you need to, that works. Or leave it on there if you want, because it looks kind of cool that way too. All right. So now we're going to add, we're going to take our black oil pastel, add some black to our dog. So the center of his eyes, the pupils, I color black. And then I trace around the outside of his eye with some black to really make those eyes kind of pop out. Make them look like they're staring at you. All right, and then I'm going to color his nose black. And I'm not going to layer my black with any other color. I'm just going to make sure I put a nice th thick coat of black. And then I'm going to trace his little mouth there. All right, now the inside of his ears, you're going to color black. And when I do this, I overlap the blue just a little bit so it blends nicely together with the blue there, except I come right down to his head, but on the ear part, you can color over on the blue just a little bit. And if you kind of make it a little jaggedy line, line there, it kind of looks like a little bit of hair in his ears. But you don't have to do that if you don't want. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my black now. Um, and when I color with it now, I'm going to color lightly. I'm not going to press down as hard. 
And so I'm just going to color lightly along his ear here and along his face. Just a little, just a little bit of coloring on the bottom of his face there and along his ear. Just kind of like a little bit of shadow and makes it look like his head is in front of his neck a little bit. And I might even give him some cool eyebrows here. And I'm not going to color real heavy. I'm just coloring lightly with that black. Because I don't want that to stick out so much. I just want it to be there without sticking out a whole lot. So I might come under his chin just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on his back legs. I'm gonna color real lightly. Just cut, fill his whole back leg. But I'm coloring very lightly. I'm not pushing as hard with my Olive Hostel because I don't want thick, heavy black. I just want a real light coat of black. So I want to be able to see a lot of that blue coming through. And I'm going to do the same thing on his other back leg. And this will help it look like his back legs are behind his front legs. Already you can start seeing it look like that. So then along his inside of his leg here, I'm going to do that just a little bit of black, just the same, just to give a little bit of shadow. And that's just going to make it look like his front legs are way in front there. And I'm just doing it real lightly. There. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to put my wrap it around my finger you don't you can just make a little bunch it up a little bit or wrap it around your finger and then I'm just gonna blend that back leg I'm gonna blend that black in a little bit so it doesn't so it looks more smooth kind of blended it blended with his and that actually I pushed too hard so I'm gonna add a little more black again I pushed way too hard with my paper towel. You just want to do it lightly so it blends without taking off. There we go. I'm just going to do it lightly. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, there. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just real lightly. Blend that. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm doing it lighter and it's working better. You don't want to you don't want to push too hard with your paper towel. We're just going to blend that lightly. And the same thing on the inside of his leg. Just a little bit of black. And I'm going to do that. Maybe blend his ears just a little bit. Especially around the edges. Kind of blended into that blue a little. There. Very cute blue dog. All right. So the next step you want to do is you want to take your scissors and you want to cut out your blue dog. So this will get rid of any lines that you, any coloring that went over the lines that you cut out around your blue dog. You just want to do a careful job so that you have a nice, neat cut. You don't want to try not to see a lot of white paper. Once you have them cut out, you can get your glue stick out and make sure that he's covered really well on the back with glue. You want to totally cover him with glue all over the back because he's thicker paper. 
and you want to make sure that he's going to stick really well. aside. All right, so you can pick out your color that you're going to use if you want to use orange, yellow, or red. I might do a red one this time. So what I'm going to do is just take my glue stick and make sure that I spread glue really well all over him, even on the edges. We don't want edges sticking up. So you want to cover him really good. We want to make him look like he's part of the paper, part of the background, not standing, sticking up. All right, so I'm going to put him right here on the, on my paper, line him up so he fits on your paper, and just push down. There we go. There's your wonderful blue dog with this background. Very cute. I kind of like that he's sticking, his ears are sticking up over the paper a little bit. I think that looks very cool. But anyway, there is a finished blue dog. So thank you for joining me for this project. I hope you had a fun time. Feel free to take a picture of your finished project and send it to me. I'd love to see um, your work. So thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.